just walked down like 23 floors with our luggage because the elevators were too full. There are too many people waiting to use the very limited elevators. So final thoughts on the Airbnb. Sort of comfortable, uh, nice views, nice air conditioning, uh, good Wi-Fi, good location, very good location. Bed setup could be improved. Bed is a little bit small. The blanket is really small. Perhaps the biggest issue is the issue with the elevator. There are like two elevators shared between like 33 floors worth of Airbnb homestay people. It's always a challenge to be able to get into the lift at all. You're living on the 28th floor. The stairs is hardly an option. So that's the biggest issue. So we are now in the little street in Georgetown called Lorong Selamat, which is once the location of a legendary takwitel stall. We love it, but she stopped selling it for quite a long time. And now, all of a sudden, apparently she's back. So we're here again, try it out. They don't have seats anymore at the original uh, coffee shop. So we are across the street and we'll take the takwitel over. It's a very nice, quaint little street, heritage buildings, very rundown, very nostalgic sort of street. I like, I like it there. Hopefully the Takwe there is still good. It doesn't quite have the old legendary taste anymore, but it's still really good. Also for reference, if you're here, I recommend getting the one without egg. It's just a bit better without the egg. It's still really good with Oh yeah. So we're in a flower shop that we come to a lot, getting flowers because we're visiting my grandmother's grave sites. This is actually a really old shop. We've been here getting flowers for years and years, decades I think. Yeah, so it's a rather cool story, you know? They started as just a florist and then they've been adding on to the decor over the years and then now they have a cafe upstairs. I think they're doing pretty well. You know, it's now a place that's got its own flavor, you know? Shopping is full of stuff like that. It's pretty cool.
that for a little bit of nostalgia that is the ship very very old restaurant it's been around since i was a little kid and i remember it looking a lot bigger because i was a little tiny thing and over there those uh pointy looking roofs there that used to be eden seafood and we would eat there every now and then long since dead not sure who took over but yeah it used to be eden seafood apparently it's golden thigh now or rather, it became Golden Thigh and then Golden Thigh also died because it looks like they shut down. We are in some sort of a dam. I think it's the Lok Bahang Dam, something like that. Somewhere on the northern, along the northern coast of the island, I believe, in the vicinity of Batu Feringi and all of the little towns in the northern coastline of the island. Never been here before, I don't think, in my life. So it should be interesting. Looks pretty scenic. The part of the island is also pretty much the place where you can find probably the best beaches on the island. But here's where you find, you know, the beaches, the water sports, the luxurious resort hotels and all that. Northern part of the island. Last one before the road. Mm. It's last but very certainly not least because I am HO. This is the best Hokkien prawn me in the world. We are in a place called Rifle Range. It's where my maternal grandmother used to live. There's this, I think, little known Hokkien prawn mee stall here. Really, really good. I think this is my top favorite in the world. It's really good. The Indian fried noodles here is also really good. There used to be a lot of good food here, right? but most of it has died off by now. So it's a little bit of a hidden gem. Fitting last meal.
We used to come here all the time because my grandmother used to live here. So it's one of the places in Penang that we came to over and over and over again. A lot of nostalgic value in this place. Thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that little vlog series and if you happen to have missed any of the previous videos in the series there is a playlist in the description that you could use to check back in case you're interested with me still being prevented from doing the thing that i most want to do and that is hiking japan and making videos out of it i've decided to kind of change things up a little bit and start also uploading some of these simple travel vlog style videos onto the channel especially since I was able to visit Malaysia. I figured that that's probably a better use of the channel than allowing it to mostly idle. So there will be more travel vlogs coming in from my time in Malaysia, as well as a number of hiking videos, including the Penang Hill hike that will be up soon. So if you're interested in seeing some of this content, do stay tuned and uh, do consider subscribing to the channel as well if you're not already subscribed. Thank you once again for watching this video. I hope you're doing well out there and I'll see you again, perhaps, in the next one.